Okay, well, I decided to try uh, Dr. Stifler's uh, one diode um, or, or multiple diode uh, electrolysis using a SEC unit. And I decided to try this with the Slayer Exciter. And uh, since uh, Johnny Darrow showed it working, so I got one working too. Now, those are bubbles of hydrogen coming up there. Down here on the bottom of the diode is where the oxygen would form, but you can see I'm not getting any there just the hydrogen coming off the top. Here's the way it looks under the microscope here. That's pretty darn good electrolysis considering all this is happening off one 9 volt battery. And uh, I've got the wireless transmission of energy going on here. I've got um, this is lit up in space <laughs> And on top of all that, while this is happening, this electrolysis, <coughs> I'm actually broadcasting energy to this tower here. Coming out of that tower into an AV plug, and I'm powering this stubble field coil motor. And the stubble field coil motor dried out <coughs> and basically stopped. Um, it's uh, down to about a tenth of a volt, but the circuit still works. And uh, when I put the um, juice to it here, whether it's a battery, a capacitor full with energy, or wirelessly transmitted energy, this just runs away. And it doesn't seem to bother uh, the fact that the battery part of this is dormant. Um, the uh, steel wire and the um, copper wire are, are oxidized, but they're oxidized in such a way that the circuit still works and the motor still runs. So anyway, um, I just wanted to share this with people that uh, Johnny Davro had already shown this um, much better than what I'm showing it here, but um, this is pretty darn good electrolysis considering what I'm using here. And like I say, this is hydrogen, uh, hydrogen gas coming off the top of that diode. The black band points down. You can see there's no bubbles forming on the bottom of that. They do form, but they form very slowly and not in the amount that the hydrogen bubbles form. So I just wanted to uh, share that with people that you can use one of these Slayer exciters and get this uh, system to work very, very simply. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the help from uh, Dr. Stifler, uh, Johnny Davro, Slayer 007G Bluer, who designed this particular circuit, and uh, Nathan Stubblefield for that. Um, a laser saver for his videos on how to build that coil and uh, all the people involved that I've studied thank you very much I've learned a lot I'm just a hobbyist but uh, this has been uh, a lot of fun thanks for watching